All right, so welcome back everybody. It is harvest time for several summer fruits and vegetables and sometimes they look so good that we buy too much, but there are ways to make the most out of overripe produce. So we're bringing in dietitian Lindsay Bailey with Akron Children's Hospital. She joins us with some really good recipes and Lindsay, all I know really to do is make banana bread when my bananas <laughs> are about to go bad, but you're going to educate me. <laughs> yes, yes, that is a good one. Um, however, it is so hot that I don't want to heat up the oven in the summertime. So everything that I'm making today is not turning on your oven and heating up the kitchen. That's anymore. awesome. Okay. Yes. So I don't know about you, but I am definitely guilty of going to the farmer's market and I see everything that I want and then I buy too much and then I can't use it up in time. Are you like that? I am. And it all looks so pretty too, right? It's so we just fun. keep throwing it in the cart. <laughs> yes. So I'm, I'm really guilty of that and I don't want to waste my food. So um, I came up with some different recipes on how we can utilize these overripe um, fruits and vegetables that we have during the summer season right now. All right, so what's your first one? Yes, so my first one is uh, watermelon sorbet that kind of has an uh, Italian ice type of a texture. It is super refreshing for the summertime. So have you ever bought a watermelon and you know they're pretty big you cut them up and they kind of get that deep red sort of translucent color where they're yes. not really fresh. yes oh my gosh which really let me stop you there the last four i've bought have been awful <laughs> and, and i don't understand what's going on i need do you have some tips on first of all how to buy a watermelon i hear you're supposed to roll it down the aisle <laughs> oh my god there, there's a lot of different tips on like knocking on the watermelon right. and whatnot i know i i i've fallen into that trap before too where i bought it and it's either super ripe or not ripe at all but i have a way that we can save it that's the good news okay so i hope you can see how beautiful and gorgeous this color is it's a super simple recipe. I just took the leftover watermelon that I had that was really ripe and blended it with water, lime juice, and a little bit of honey, and you can freeze it. Um, I just use an ice cream scooper over here, and it makes this great kind of slushy consistency, um, and it's, it's awesome. It's super refreshing, and it's light, um, and it brings that watermelon back to life. That looks good. Yummy, Lindsay. <laughs> awesome. So tomatoes are my next one. So. Um, tomatoes, you know, they're, they're super ripe during the summertime. I think it's the best time to get tomatoes, but sometimes if we don't eat them, the skins can kind of get a little bit wrinkly and they're not super fresh for our sandwiches and things like that. Yeah. The perfect transformation is a bruschetta. And I wish you could smell it in here because the garlic is so fragrant. Um, my tip for bringing these fruits and vegetables back to life is adding some sort of a fresh element to this. So if you can kind of see here, I do have um, fresh basil. So a lot of people grow basil in their garden. That's going to really zap that back to life. And there's fresh garlic in here too. So yeah. tip, I love garlic, but I don't want to bite down on a huge piece of garlic because it's kind of like, whoa. Um, so if you have a garlic press, that is great. Or a nice little grater here will make sure that you're getting bites of garlic throughout, but not this big chunk. Okay. So um, awesome bruschetta. If you have leftovers, it's great tossed in leftover pasta or on a protein like chicken or on fish. Awesome. Okay, and before we wrap this up, you have one more with peaches or avocados. We do. So Yum. Peaches are on the website, by the way, but a peach guacamole. So, you know, peaches are one of those foods that um, you wait, 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 wait until they're ripe and then they're overripe, right? right? So, I have a bunch of fresh peaches and I cut them up so they're pretty coarse um, because I like a coarse consistency with my guacamole. I kind of pre scored my um, avocados here. So, you just want to dump all of these um, ingredients in together. So, so far, I just have peaches and I have avoc avocados. And um, we need a little bit of some um, seasoning and some flavor to it. So, I like spicy food. I like the taste of jalapenos. So, I have some jalapenos in here I'm going to add that are pre cut. Um, and some people add red, on red onion to their guacamole. I don't like how um, strong it is. So, I like a little bit of an onion taste. And I think that scallions are awesome. Um, so, just mix this up. I tend to like one that's more chunky, so you get a lot of um, different tastes and textures to it. Um, I hope you can kind of see this. It looks yeah, gorgeous. So looks good. Lindsay, it's so pretty. Great ideas. Um, Again, without yeah, I, even turning on your oven. Lindsay, thank you so much. Thank you. Happy to see you guys. Yes. Um, take care. Enjoy the rest of your summer. Yes, you guys too. You guys too. All three recipes we're going to put on our website, so maybe you can try it out today. It'll be all on fox8.com. All right.